ticker tape machine. This is the way that stock reports used to come in uh, to uh, brokers and investors. They would read the, uh, the tape and they would give the name of the stock and then the percentage of up and down on the stock during the day. We do not have the sending machine that attaches to this, which would have been remote at the stock exchange. That machine looked like a giant keyboard, and rather than putting out um, music, it was it basically put out stock symbols and then the numbers to tell you how much the stock had gone up and down. What we have is a default code that comes out of the machine uh, that is basically just the result of the machine defaulting to its own, um, basically just the, the numbers and letters that would come out of it with no signal going to it other than an electrical pulse. But on film, it'll look like it's putting out a, a, a stock report. One of the first things that you have to do with the ticker tape is you have to ink this little felt drum up here. So you take the ink and you brush that on to the felt drum. Make sure that you get a fairly even coating on it. And if the client has the ticker tape out for a week or so, they'll probably need to do this a couple of times during that week because it does dry out fairly quickly and it does not have a way of inking itself. Okay, so the entire drum all the way around has been inked and you close the little door. Okay, once the drum is inked, you place the glass dome on the machine, which is how it would look when it was in operation. We have a, about a 30 foot cord so that all of this can be remote and this is the only thing that would be seen on camera. The connections are all color coded, obviously yellow to yellow, green to green, red to red. If these get mixed up, you can short out the power supply. Now this power supply is 110, 120 volts DC. This was made by Edison, Edison used DC rather than AC. You can get a heck of a shock off of this thing, which is why this protective piece is in place here. Tell the client not to remove this protective piece because they can get quite a shot. Same thing for this piece, which sends the pulse to the machine. It says print right there, so they know that this is the signal that makes it print. Danger of electric shock, do not remove cover. There's no way to get a shock from either of these things unless you remove these cover, the cover. Okay, to operate the machine, you just simply hit the key and the speed at which you hit the key changes the speed of the machine and you can see where the fresh ink has just started to hit right there. From what I understand this is about the correct speed for the machine. Now, it is the same signal over and over again, but as I said, on camera, it'll, all, all they'll need to see is that there are figures and numbers coming out of there. Any questions?